Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July the 3rd of 2021. Well, it is titled along the Milky Way. So what do we see here? Well, in the foreground, we see uh, the astronomer looking outward through a telescope there staring up towards our Milky Way. And we've been looking at the Milky Way for thousands of years, but it wasn't until the 1600s that we got a little bit better idea of what it actually is. If you've ever seen the Milky Way from a dark site, it doesn't quite look like what you see here with a much longer exposure, but it does look like a whitish patch going across the sky and giving it its, its name of the Milky Way. However, what Galileo saw in the 1600s when he looked at it with the telescope was that that milky path was actually made up of many thousands and thousands of other stars, stars that could not be seen with the naked eye. So it wasn't until a little while later that we began to learn that it was actually our galaxy that we were seeing from within. So as we see this, we see our galaxy, uh, the central portions of it, uh, where there's a little bit more star uh, stars to the uh, right hand side, and looking away from the central portions of our galaxy as you go up towards the top of the image. So the closer we look towards the inner portions, the more star clouds we're going to be, be seeing. Now the Milky Way looks a lot like an edge on spiral galaxy and we've seen images of those in the past. And this is very similar to that in that we see the dark dust lane going through it. And that means there's a lot more to the Milky Way galaxy than we can possibly see here. That dust is very good at blocking out visible light and keeps us from being able to see all of the details within our galaxy. And in fact, the center of our galaxy is essentially invisible to anyone using an ordinary optical telescope. There is simply too much dust there to allow us to see through the to, to the central portions of our galaxy, let alone to all of our galaxy on the other side. So we don't really know much about that, at least not through visible light. Now we can use things like infrared and radio waves that better penetrate the dust to give us a look into these much darker areas. So when you get a chance sometime and you happen to be out at a very dark site, take a look through the sky and you'll be able to see the Milky Way stretching across the sky, which is actually you're seeing our own galaxy with many billions of stars together merged together with their glow of their light and that we're seeing in the sky. So that was our picture of the day for July the 3rd of 2021. It was titled Along the Milky Way. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.